The article, you also implied pretty strongly that criticism of Barack Obama's foreign policy was driven in part by systemic racism. Do you still believe that criticism of Barack Obama's foreign policy is in part racist? Uh, I think there's no question that there were arguments made uh, about President Obama that uh, were rooted in race, no question about it. Let's consider some of those decisions on which you played a part. You defended strongly the Syrian red line fiasco as late as 2016. Do you still believe it was correct for President Obama not to enforce his own red line in Syria? I believe it was an accomplishment for the United States working with a multinational coalition to get 1,300 tons of chemical weapons out of Syria. Relying, re relying on Vladimir Putin. It was an accomplishment to get 1,300 tons of chemical weapons out of Syria, Senator. Um, you obviously didn't get it all out of Syria because Bashar al-Assad later gassed his own people again, didn't he? He used chemical weapons which were made out of chlorine, industrial chemicals, which was not part of do, his chemical do weapons you believe program. It was, do you believe it was correct for Donald Trump to enforce Barack Obama's own red line when he bombed Bashar al-Assad after gassing his own people? I believe it was important for the United States to engage in the counter-ISIL campaign, which began in the fall of 2014. So yet, yes or no, do you support, did you support Donald Trump's decision to enforce Barack Obama's own red line? I, I don't recall that decision. You don't recall b bombing Syria during Donald Trump's presidency? In that, that specific incident, Senator, I don't recall. Um, so one thing that Barack Obama did 10 years ago was toss the decision to bomb Syria to Congress looking for a scapegoat. Um, obviously, he did not submit the decision to bomb Libya to Congress in 2011. What's the difference? Why did we need congressional approval to bomb Syria in 2013 but not Libya in 2011? Senator, I, I can't speak for President Obama on this. You were on the White House uh, staff at the time in 2011, right? I, I was, Senator. I was not part of that decision with, with President Obama. I can say what's there were two your, what's very your different view, What's your view of that question? Do you think we needed congressional approval to bomb Syria? At the time, I supported the, I wasn't part of the decision, but I supported President Obama coming to the Congress to get the support of the American people to whether or not we, were, we the United States, were going to intervene that, in the civil the war in Syria. In, do you think the intervention in Libya was wise policy? Senator, I've written extensively about I've read it. Yes, the, I've the read lessons it. learned of our That's intervention. That's why I'm asking you here publicly. At, at the time, I did believe it was the right policy, yes. So you don't believe it anymore? I believe at the time, given the circumstances we faced, it was the right policy. Given, so Barack Obama has said publicly that Libya is a mess. Privately, I won't say what he said since there are young children in the audience, but it ends with show and it starts with SH. Do you agree with President Obama's retrospective assessment? So what I could gather from this video is um, they're trying to show that policies that Obama had uh, and made um, were racist, so that he was, he was actually racist on some of the policies that he actually put forward. And the question was given to the gentleman, um, do you believe it was, what is it, correct for Trump to go ahead and enforce Barack Obama's red line to bomb, uh, to bomb Syria. And his answer is, I, I don't recall. <laughs> and so he, the guy asked him again and says, wait a minute, you don't remember or recall the bomb that ha took place um, in Syria during the Trump's pre presidency? You don't recall that? And, um, and he just, denying it. No, I don't remember. I don't recall it. Why do why do people get away with having that be their answer to not answer the question? Um, they should have like a rule in place that you can't use that. You, you, you're there to ask the question or that's calling you a liar then. Um, another question that was asked to him was, um, or, or not asked to him, another thing that was brought up was Obama sent over to Congress to make the decision to bomb Syria because he didn't want to have his hands involved with that, right? He it was like his escape goat, I think he uh, said in, in the video. But he did not do the same thing when he was deciding to bomb Libya in 2011. So what's the difference, he asked him. And he was, he just goes into, uh, first of all, saying he wasn't involved in that decision. Um, but he just goes into saying um, at the time why that was decided. But the person interviewing him knows that he wrote uh, a lot about this. And the guy finally comes out and says, I wrote a lot about this, um, my opinion about it. And he goes, yeah, I know you did. That's why I'm asking you right now. Do you feel like it was, it was a mistake? And uh, 
he did not want to answer that question. But obviously, um, obviously he probably did. And for some reason doesn't want to sit there and just answer, answer the question. I don't know. It doesn't make sense.